G with Inland Valley News here at Disneyland for a great press conference event in preparation for the Rose Bowl game on January 1 between the Stanford Cardinal and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Should be a great game. Stay tuned for some fantastic videos to follow. outstanding college football teams who have earned the right to play in this year's game, the 102nd Rose Bowl. Our first team finished the season as Pac-12 Conference Champions, winning, winning their third Pac-12 Championship in four years. Their last Rose Bowl game win came in 2013 against Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the coach of my alma mater, the Stanford Cardinal, David Shaw. Yeah, well, talk about your experience as far as all that you've learned from previous Rose Bowls entering into this Rose Bowl. I think the big thing also is to continue to enjoy all that the Rose Bowl has to offer all week long. It's just, it's the best bowl game. It's, there's the most stuff, but at the same time you have your time to prepare also when you're ready to play the game. And then to let it go and just play and play for your best. But, you know, enjoy the whole process, not just any one part of it, enjoy the whole thing. What is it going to take to come out victorious on January 1? You know, it's it's kind of what it took to get here. And we have to be efficient in everything we do on the offensive side, but also be explosive. And then defensively, we got to be very, very sound. We're playing against a very, very good, smart, well-coached football team, hard-nosed, tough football team. Um, we can't make mistakes and take advantage of it. So play the most mistake-free football we can play and be ready to make some big plays. What about the excitement for yourself and for the team? Do you sense a height in a, uh, excitement? There's no question. You know, you take into account losing the first game of the year and falling out of the rankings and people not really thinking that we're as good as we thought that we were. Uh, and we didn't play like it. We didn't play very well. We made a concerted effort as an entire group to just play like ourselves and see what we can accomplish. And from day one, from that, that after that first game, our goal was to find a way to get to the Rose Bowl. And for us to be here, we're so excited and appreciative. Uh, but at the same time, knowing that we got a big ball game to play in a few days. Knowing what you went through in the beginning and to find yourself where you are right now, was that, that was certainly the goal. But was that a surprise that you weren't ranked very high in the preseason, but yet come out where you are in number it six? It wasn't a surprise to me. And for a lot of our guys, they wanted to have that chip on their shoulders early on. But we also talked about we can't worry about if people like us or don't like us. If they think they rank us high, they rank us low. And that stuff doesn't matter. What matters is how well we play. If we play well enough and win enough games, we'll be where we want to be. And that's how we got here. What's the key to your success? Uh, I think it's the it's the key to Stanford success, which is the people. You gotta have the right group of guys. You gotta have smart guys, self-motivated guys. Some guys are willing to have to do the dirty work without getting any publicity for it. And you gotta have some guys that are superstars. And uh, to have that great mix, and have great camaraderie on the football team to where practice is fun, practice is enjoyable, and it's hard and it's tough, but at the same time, guys are smiling because they like it. Uh, that's a big part of our success. And what about the key to Christian? You know, they know they're gonna be keying in on him, but how are you gonna be able to utilize his ability to defy their defense? I think the biggest thing is, if given enough opportunity, he makes guys miss. Um, this is a very, very good physical defense. A defense that's hard to move the ball on, a defense that's hard to score on. 
Um, we know it's not going to be easy. We're not going to be going for 50 and 60 yard touchdowns repeatedly. Um, but what we have to do though is we have to get the ball in the hands of our guys. And Christian, of course, is number one on the top of that list. We also have Michael Rector and David and uh, Devin Kajus and uh, Austin Hooper and the rest of our receivers and running backs. And you know, as long as we mix the ball around a little bit, hopefully try to keep them off balance. But at the same time, um, Chris is going to touch the ball a lot. Well, Coach, congratulations. Would you give yourself and the team a shout out? Oh, no, I'm just uh, excited to be here. Hopefully take advantage of all that Disney has to offer. And the rest of the week, you're ready to play a great football game. Fantastic.